Hey there, this is Ocean Bagel. This is my low percent TPE guide. It'll also be good for low percent neutral love one. It's basically the same route. Um, what that means is you're not allowed to use items, so a lot of the, the punch card glitches and normal glitch categories cannot be used. Um, you'll also see I'm on version 1.0. That'll uh, come into play later. Um, but let's get into it. Uh, so first off, uh, ruins. There's really not much different between any other category and low percent. The only thing is if you're doing neutral love one, I uh, should not kill Wimson. In normal neutral, it is faster to kill Wimson, but in this category, it is not. So keep that in mind. Anyway, we're going to load into Snowden here. And first thing, do not touch this box. <laughs> you're not allowed to pick up items. So if you pick up the glove from the box, you lose. Um, well, you'll come in here. Normal stuff, you uh, heal the save point. You can save if you want, you don't need to. Um, but first up, we have Doggo, which uh, I'll just skip to him. So for Doggo, uh, you don't have the stick. So a lot of these Snowden bosses, you won't be able to use the stick. So for Doggo, you check. Uh, don't get hit by the sword. And then you pet. Don't get hit by the sword. And then you spit. It is faster to go towards the sword, but just make sure you stop before you reach it. Alright, and all this is basically the same until we get to here. So there is a strat called Dog Marriage Skip. Let's just mute that. Uh, it is an RNG based strat, but it is actually very fast in this category. So we'll run here. And then this is this is a setup for uh, uh, dog marriage skip. So you hold down right and then stop here and go up and down and up right. And you get the skip if you get that encounter uh, right on the trigger, which I did in that time. I was close, but uh, you don't have to go for that. It's, it's an RNG strat, but it saves time because you skip this entire fight. So if you get it, you flee from that encounter and then you'll be able to move in this cutscene. You'll just move to the next room. But usually you won't get that, so we'll go in this fight. And you'll see why we want to skip that, because this fight is pretty long in this category. So the first thing you want to do is choose one of the dogs and roll around. And there are two different attacks. This is the faster of the two attacks. So that's another bit of RNG here. I want to dodge it like that. And then re-sniff. And get the fast attack again. Nice. And then we need to pet each dog individually. So we'll pet dog me here. Fast attack again, nice. And then we will pet dog arrest. <laughs> nice, all fast attack, look at that. Good RNG there. All right, and now we should be able to spare after the cutscene and move on. All right, coming up here in the next room is a 1.0 only strat. Uh, this is Flying Papyrus. Um, the way you do it is you run into the tree. Actually, dropped on a save here. You run into this tree and interact with it while you're moving, and you'll see you kind of twitch around there. And if I got it, that means, yeah, there we go. So you're able to hit this switch. Normally, you stop right before the switch, but with that strat, you're able to hit the switch right there. And, and you can just go on from there. Now, there is another strat if you're not in 1.0. Uh, this is Geo's strat. It's, uh... A little harder, but it's it's in the uh, the guide if you want to check it out. The neutral true pacifist guide. So for this, this this one, you line up here, go up here, and do that, and that lets you move here, and we'll move on from there. Uh, the next few rooms should be the same. So ice puzzle skip. You can do icebreaker if you want. Then we get here to greater dog. So. We don't have the stick again. Um, we could do the normal AYC spare, but there's actually a faster way to do it. So I'll show you. What we do is we go to ignore and we keep ignoring. So you want to go down um, and you actually do need max HP if you're going to get all the dog skips, but running to the dog attacks cancels it like that. So we just keep doing that. 
and then eventually we get a faster cutscene here. That's that's actually why it's faster. So that'll cover uh, Snowden. All right, next up we have Papyrus. There isn't really much difference between other categories. The only difference is on the first phase, you can't use the stick, so you have to check him instead. Otherwise, you die three times, let him spare you, and move on. So if you're doing true pacifist, you have to go back and date him. Otherwise, keep going to the next section. So we have SGS next, and we don't have the stick to use, so we have to use the cell phone option. So there is a good setup for SGS. Um, if, while you're walking to the room, you can go up two pixels, uh, just like that. You'll be lined up right there. And what that does is it lines you up five pixels away from the bottom of the screen. So you'll move straight down, and that'll put you in the perfect position to do that, and move on. If you have trouble with that, there are other guides that can help you a little more. And moving on, there is really not that much else uh, in the rest of Waterfall. Uh, the next thing will be uh, Undyne. And there are some cool things for Undyne. So we're going to go ahead and uh, skip to there. This is actually why we're on 1.0 right now. There is a 1.0 only glitch. What you'll want to do is find the first pixel you're able to move up here, which is right here. And run into the trigger. That's it. We did the glitch. Congratulations. <laughs> so what this does, you'll get through the cutscene. And you'll notice something's a little bit different afterwards. So let her do her thing. Wow, where did we go? We're up here. <laughs> so this skips an entire phase of her fight. You'll go down here, into the transition, and then go straight up. That means we'll have only two phases of Undyne's fight. And unlike other categories, HP doesn't matter in this category. So you'll just want to go through here. Dodge all the attacks if you want. Uh, you'll want to keep challenging the first few turns. Challenge again, and then four challenges total. So that was number three. This is number four. She'll say something about sunlight. That's the last challenge. And now we can just spare her. All of these attacks are always the same. All these ones we've seen so far. So, you'll learn the patterns. Block those. And flee when your soul turns red. Next room, like other categories, you'll want to stop right here. Skips another phase in this room. Now challenge Undyne three times. Again, these patterns are fixed, always will be the same. Three challenges. And then we can spare. This one will be random. This is the only random attack. Here. The rhythm will be the same, but the directions will be random. Soul's red, flee again. You want to mash? The pirates are giving me here. Like the pirates, and that's it. All right, and there is actually a glitch in the next room. Uh, if you're running low percent neutral love one, you don't need to do this glitch. You'll just run into this cutscene and leave the room. Um, but if you're running low percent true pacifist, you do need to water on die. So you'll take a cup of water and go over here. So what you want to do is interact with her right here and then you'll need to overflow on this text with the next text so it's a lot like a punch card overflow where you have to hit enter on one frame and then z on the next frame uh, normally in 1.001 linux you're able to hold enter while you're hitting z but because we're on 1.0 we actually have to release enter on the uh, frame we hit it so it'll look kind of like this And then we get She Looks Dry. You'll want to leave this text up. Uh, go back to normal speed here. So we water her. And she'll shake around. She'll stand up. She looks down. When she looks up, you'll clear the text. Walk this way. And then count her steps. 
you're close to the trigger right here. So when you hear her ninth step, you want to exit the room using the wall, like an overflow wrong one with punch cards. And that'll put us right here. It's worth noting that that is actually a pretty risky strat. Uh, if you're doing true pacifist and you leave the room early, that will abort true pacifist permanently and you'll have to reset the run. So it's a small amount of time save. Do it if you want, but it's not a big deal if you don't do it. Otherwise, you just water her and leave the room normally when the cutscene's done. Next up is a strat called Dog Food Storage. It's an order strat for skipping the lab and is different on different versions. So this is the way to do it on 1.0. If you're on a different version, it'll work differently. So you want to go to this pixel. Uh, you can see Frisk's shoe is in line with this line right here next to the dog food. You want to go up here, face the dog food. That's important. You'll need to be facing the dog food and holding up and left. And then you hit Z and right on the same frame while holding up and left. And then you want to do enter C on consecutive frames like an overflow. And then shift Z and you'll get the text right there. Clear that away and you're able to move. Uh, you can clear away right away. Um, but then we'll just leave the room there. Going through the rest of Hotland should be mostly the same. You flee from Vulcan here. And we can't grab the pan, so we're gonna skip it. Just gonna jump forward here. So, this room, we go this way. Flee from the Sooner Plane. We'll get right about here. We'll get that no matter what. And then we'll go up here, there's actually a 1.0 exclusive glitch here. So if you stop right here and go across, you'll avoid the phone call. So you can do that. You can also get a faster cycle on the lasers, if you're fast, which I'm not fast enough apparently. <laughs> but either way, you just go through the lasers. You actually don't get hit in this category because it doesn't save time. And then the rest of this will be the same as in True Pacifist Glitchless, uh, up until we get to Floor 2, so we'll go ahead and skip ahead today. Coming up here is uh, a routing difference exclusive to low percent. So when we enter this room, we don't actually continue to the right. What you want to do is grind out for an encounter here, which will be a pyro. And you'll flee from this pyro, transition back to the last room, and now we can go this way. And as with other categories, you'll walk at the bottom half of this room to avoid the phone calls. And we'll get to the other side. Um, we do need to get this encounter, so if you get to the end of the room before you get to this encounter, um, you have to grind out for the encounter. This is important later, and I'll explain why when we get there. So flee from this encounter, and now we can move on to the next room. Alright, this room actually has a 1.0 exclusive glitch in it. So you want to take this vent without hitting the button, and then you'll take the left vent here and open the menu as soon as you land, so like this. And that'll prevent the button from activating, so you can just take this vent back over and move on to the next room. So Royal Guards is the same as in TPE Glitchless, so look at that guide for that. So we're going to move on to the new show. What you want to do is... Go this way. Interact with the dog. It's not a dog, it's a bomb! Oh no! Well, that's fine. Now we'll just keep mashing here. We'll go this way. Go to the vent. Go up and left. Three pixels. One, two, three. And then interact with the present with the Z. And then press left on the next frame. Like that. And then mash right away, get rid of the bomb, and then mash the text away, and you get out of bounds like that. You go up here. And there we go, that's present vent skip. Next up, we'll want to go to left floor three. And this is actually why we got an extra encounter on floor two. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead here to the north puzzle room. Normally what happens is when you enter the North Puzzle Room and go up, you'll get an encounter right about here. Um, but because we got that story encounter early, we don't get an encounter here, so we can go straight in. 
and do the puzzle solution. And we also do the, the south puzzle. Uh, the uh, normal strat is to do the south puzzle first. So do the south puzzle first, come up, do the north puzzle. And then we can move on to Muffet's room. All right for this wrong warp, what you want to do is line up right here. You'll see Frisk's fists are against the bottom of the door. Go left all the way, and then interact with the door and hit up at the same time. And make sure you clear the text and let go of the arrow keys during the transition. Like that. There we go. Next up, we have Muffet. And unlike every other category, uh, low percent TPE and low percent neutral love one actually has to do the entire Muffet fight. So make sure you practice the fight. I'm not going to do it here, but you can practice it. Um, the important thing is after the fight, uh, like in TPE Glitchless, you have to go back and save, which I'll just do right now. You want to save here. That way, when you go over to this trigger, you want to do reloads, just like in TPE Glitchless. So you'll see that. Then you'll reload. Unless you skip the entire opera scene. So you get the skip option here. Skip it. And then send you to the dungeon. And you get the colored tile puzzle. And it's easy. You should know how to do this. They explained all the rules. Look, you just solve it. Easy. But yeah, just do it like TPE glitchless. And then continue, continue on to the next room, up to MTT Resort. Core is coming up next, so most of this should be the same as in Glitchless, but you'll notice you don't have the stick for magic. So, easy solution, just talk to magic. Um, the only thing is that reverses your controls. So, you talk to magic, and up is down, left is right, you know, top is bottom, etc. Don't die. <laughs> and then you can spare. Once you get to this room, one thing to note is that you can actually soft lock on this switch, which looks like that. So, a way to prevent that is to interact with the switch early and then stop mashing as soon as you hit it. After doing core puzzle, you come here to Metaton's room. You want to drop down a save because this is actually a pretty difficult strap. Um, the way we do Metaton is by posing from 1 HP, which means for most of the battle, you'll be one hit away from death. We'll come in here. Let Benetton do his thing. And we'll spare him. Make sure you don't overmash that so you don't accidentally shoot him. Because shooting him loses a bit of time. And you'll want to hit, get hit three times here. Get down to one HP. So you might as well just take one hit per turn. And one more hit should do it. Sure, 1 HP. And now we get into the fight itself. So, turn Metaton, get through the cutscene. The other way we get points is by shooting a bunch of things in this fight. Um, every time you shoot something, you get a little bonus to your points. So you want to shoot as many things as possible while not taking any damage. So you want to go in here, pose, if you don't get hit by a single attack, or you'll die. And you can shoot, you can shoot some of these if you want, but it's uh, pretty risky. So you could have shot both waves there, but I only shot one. And the, the more you shoot, the faster the fight will go. So. Get as much as you can without dying. And just pose each time. For the pop quiz, you can enter Hot Finenticute for 360 points or Leg for 350. Usually, if you, if you can't type fast enough, uh, Leg is sometimes better. On this one, you want to spam attack this heart because the attack ends faster. If you uh, scan the heart, here we go. And not really want to take out that whole wave, otherwise you lose a bunch of time. But 
I missed quite a few attacks, so... There we go. For the Disco Ball, you can spam it at the beginning, but make sure you stop before it starts moving, or you'll get hit. There we go. And this next one, don't uh, spam Mash here, or else you'll accidentally hit the Disco Ball. And keep posing, there should be two more here. One. And two. There we go. We're above 12,000. So we did it. We won. Uh, like I said, you'll want to practice that strat quite a bit because it is pretty difficult. Pretty easy to die, though. This is the same as CB Glitchless, but a very easy thing to miss. You'll want to save the save point right here. And then when you interact with the Sand Trigger for the first time, uh, you'll wait until he does his text. So speeding it up with debug a little here. So he does his text, and then you want to reload, and that'll make it so you can mash his text. We'll get over here. Now he'll let us mash the text away. After you watch this cutscene down here, make sure you save at this specific save point right here. And then there is actually a different strat in low percent. Because the stick is so weak, it's actually faster to talk to Asgore three times. Now, what you do is you go to act and talk to him three times. And I'm, I'm actually going to cheat here because we're going fast. So on the third time, it says his attack drop is a defense drop. That's what we were looking for. So then after that, make sure you dodge all his attacks. It, it can be kind of difficult. It's a long fight. So hit him with the stick, aim for the middle. And that's all there is to it. It, it, it. it gets pretty long. But because we talk to him like that, his defense is lower than normal, which saves time overall. So I'm not going to do the whole thing, but take my word for it, it's a long fight. You'll get through it. And then after you get to Asgore, you defeat Flowey. And that's all the same as any other run. Um, if you're doing a low percent neutral love one, that will be the end of your run. You'll defeat Flowey, leave the underground, that'll be it. If you're doing low percent true pacifist, then you'll need to reload, and I'll show that in a second. So after you defeat Flowey, you'll end up here again. Uh, backtrack like in true pacifist for the undying date, and then the Alfie's date, and then you'll get to true that. So there are actually a few differences in True Lap. Um, memory Head, there is a way to actually kill a run at Memory Head. I'll, I'll show that off real quick. So memory head, memory head has an act that gives you an item. And if you use that act on accident, if you miss menu to use the act, this, this act right here, item. Make sure you avoid this, because if you use it, put a piece of it itself in your inventory. Yeah, unfortunately, we, we just lost the run. It's in value. You can't submit it anymore, because we have an item. That memory, right there. Yeah, so make sure you don't use that act. You'll want to use uh, the uh, cell, and then the refuse. You'll get past memory head. Refuse. And then you can spare. So, not too much. That's just one little point to keep in mind. And you spare him. And you get the key. After progressing through True Lab, you get the yellow key down there. You might want to drop down the save here because endogeny is pretty difficult. So, go over here. Interact with the switch. And walk left to get to endogeny. And we don't have the stick. So we're going to have to act on this. So you'll want to do a beckon. And then opens up his face hole. And shoots undying spears at us. He's easy to die. <laughs> and he's going to rocket zoom at us. 
Ash, yeah, yeah, I, I would have been dead. <laughs> so be careful in this fight. And then we play with him. And look at this. There he is again. Pet. And then pet one more. And there we go. Look at all those dogs. And we spare. We got them. And the rest of this, you got up here, you got this key. It's about the same. Make sure you don't forget this. It's easy to forget. Yellow key right here. Lemon red is the same as TV glitchless, so I'm just gonna walk right past. You can look at that guy for that. Uh, this is all the same. You interact with this fridge, do the fight, you jerk three times, etc., etc. Funny ice puns. Gone, and you can leave the key. This is actually faster than leave the key. And then do the green switch, and then come back on your way out and get the key. And then, you know, do this behind the refrigerators. It's a little faster. Um, Lemon Red shouldn't be here. We should have already done it. And the rest of True Love is actually just the same. So, I'll end up here. Interact with this, etc., etc. And we leave and get to Asriel. We're coming up on a 1.0 exclusive glitch here. This is a big one. Very important. This glitch here. So keep an eye out. We're on the True Pacifist Asgore cutscene. And of course, we mash through his dialogue. Torio comes here to save us. Thank you, Torio. We start mashing. And now we want to keep an eye out. When Undyne and Alfie's on the screen, you press the space bar and they kiss early. There you go, that's the glitch. 1.0 exclusive, very important. <laughs> Look at them. And they just stay like that for a while. Yeah, nice. Now, one important note for Asriel is the dream act right here gives you an item and that will invalidate your run. So resist the urge to dream. You can still hope, and that's the safest bet here. It heals you for one HP each turn, and reduces the damage that will be done. But yeah, first phase, you just get through the whole thing, and try not to die. One more thing to note is, because you don't have a pie for the Lost Soul Toriel and Asgore, you'll need to do four acts on them. So the first three acts don't really matter. Just do the first ones available. Using mash the text. So three. And then on the fourth one, just like on the, the second turn, if you had a pie, you go down the second lost soul and hug. And that's the fast one. All right, and with that, the rest of the run is pretty standard. You just do the normal true pacifist ending. You get to here, and you end your run where you end any other true pacifist run. So thanks a lot for checking out this guide. If you have any questions, you can contact me on Discord. I'll be free to answer. Or you can join the Undertale speedrunning community Discord. And uh, there are a lot of people there who can help you out. So, I hope this was helpful, and thanks again for watching. Bye!